So how safe is installing an Android custom ROM in your phone? Can you really use banking apps on custom ROM? Can the developer of the ROM steal your data using P-loggers? In this video, I will answer all the questions regarding custom ROM and safety. So let's get started. So the first question, is installing a custom room safe? Well, there is no OS in the world which is 100% safe. Windows, Mac or even Linux. Anything can get virus is completely up to you. But when it comes to developer side, yes, custom rooms are safe. The custom room market share is just 1% in the world. So maybe custom room is much safer than your stock room like One UI from Samsung or MIUI from Redmi or Oxygen OS from OnePlus. Because those phones and OS are used by a wide audience, so hackers always target those. But it's completely up to you how you use your Android phone. You can't be like, I just installed a RAM cleaner and now I want my phone to be safe. You just install a spyware from Play Store by yourself. And if you're worried about your data being stolen, if you don't install apps like Facebook, there is not a chance that your data will be stolen by a ROM developer or anyone else. Android is open source. All the good Android ROMs have their source code on GitHub. So anyone can go and analyze that, maybe tweak it a little and make your own personal Android custom ROM. So ROM developer can't actually put keyloggers in the Android ROM. Otherwise, everybody can see their source code on GitHub and I don't think developers want to ruin their reputation, which they build over years. Also, always use official rooms. I'm not saying unofficial rooms are not safe, but official rooms are organized by a huge team of developers like Resurrection Remix, Lineage OS, Havoc OS, Pixel Experience. These kind of rooms are 100% secure. Again, I'm not saying that other rooms are not secure. So the another question is, is custom ROM safe for internet banking? So when you install a custom ROM, you have two options. You can go ahead and root the custom ROM because most of the custom ROMs are not rooted when you first install them. Or you can just use the custom ROM as it is. So if you root it, maybe your banking app might not work. It's completely dependent on which bank you're using. From my personal experience of 9 years of routing and installing custom rooms, I have never faced any issues from banking apps. Only problem I had with Netflix. So if you install a custom room in the Play Store, you won't be able to find Netflix app. Because Netflix doesn't want you to install an app on a device which has a custom room installed. Let me show you an example here. This is my Redmi Note 7 Pro running latest build of Evolution X custom room. And as you can see in the Play Store, I can't find Netflix app. And this is my Samsung S10 Plus, which is completely virgin, not even rooted. And of course, I can find Netflix here. This is because safety net is failed. So this issue can be solved easily by installing APK. So because you install a custom ROM and you couldn't install Netflix via Play Store, you had to go to third party website to install Netflix APK which might harm your phone. There is small chance for that. So indirectly installing a custom room made you do that. So custom room has nothing to do with your safety. But because of this, if you install third party APK, it might give you virus. You can choose not to install Netflix. That's completely up to you. And if you download your custom room from a reputable website like tweakguy.com, there is no chance that you will install anything wrong in your phone. ROM developers will never add any spyware or virus in the custom ROM that I can tell you from my personal experience since last 9 or 8 years. Custom ROM is just an Android with extra features. As I said, Android is open source and so are the custom ROMs. You can go onto GitHub and find all the source code of any custom ROM. On the other hand, it's completely opposite. If you install a custom ROM, most custom ROMs are debloated. It means you don't have unwanted junk apps from Google or any third party app, which actually steals your data and ruin your battery life. Custom ROM will have very few apps when you install it for the first time. Now after that, what to do with your phone is your responsibility. 
Now let's talk about the payment apps. If you root your phone via Magix, there is a feature called Magix Hide. If you enable that and then use your payment apps like Google Pay or Tez, then you won't face any problem using payment apps. And if you don't root your custom room and just use as it is, then in my opinion is 100% safe. You can use your banking apps, you can use your payment apps and nobody can steal or take your data from that. So that's my take on safety and custom rooms. Like if you appreciate what I do on this channel. This is your friend Nair signing out and I will see you tomorrow.